Axiom Speedy Green 10 Sigma. Welcome to episode 106 of Transition Tuesday. Today I'm going to be talking about why it's important to teach your students about their transition IEP. Right now I'm going to switch over to a short slide presentation to share this information. In today's video I will discuss how to teach your students about their transition IEP, what they can expect at their IEP meetings, and how they can prepare for their meeting. Teaching students about their IEP and meetings is a prerequisite to them becoming more actively involved in their transition process and them leading their transition IEP meetings, which was covered in Transition Tuesday, Episode 77. To teach your students about their IEP and IEP meetings, start by explaining what an IEP stands for which is an individualized education program that is a legal written document that describes the educational plan for them. And then talk about what it means to them and why they need one. The IEP talks about their disability, what skills they currently have, what skills they still need to learn, what goals they will be working on, what services or supports they will need to be successful, and where their learning will take place, and how often they need an IEP, which is written at least once a year or more. Important things for you to think about as a teacher when teaching your students about their IEP are to avoid using too many special ed acronyms and to do some pre-teaching of the special education and specifically transition terminology. Some examples would be post-secondary goals, academic and transition needs, accommodations, and progress. Next, explain to your students that the IEP meeting is where their team comes together to discuss their individualized education program and that their meeting typically lasts between 30 minutes to an hour. The people who usually attend the meeting are them, the student, their parents, at least one of their regular education teachers, at least one of their special education teachers, and other people who know their strengths and needs very well and who can help them plan their educational program. It is also helpful for the student to have the different IEP team members' roles explained to them. So when talking to the student about their role, explain that it is their educational program that will be discussed so it helps to have their input to identify their unique needs and areas where they need support for learning the goals identified and for accessing the environment. The role of their parents is to offer perspectives on the demands of home and community environment, what goes on when they're not at school. The role of the regular education teacher is to offer insight on expectations regarding the curriculum, which is schoolwork and the educational environment, which is school. The role of their special education teacher is to support them and suggest ideas for appropriate instruction, adaptation, and services. The role of the administrator is to provide or supervise the special education services and resources that they will be receiving. And the role of other IEP team members is to share specific information on their strengths and needs. After you explain what an IEP is and what the roles of the different team members are at the meeting, it's important to explain to the student what they can expect at their IEP meeting. Tell them the IEP meeting is further development of their IEP and includes discussion of the assessments used to determine their strengths, needs, wants, interests, and options, their post-secondary goals, their academic and transition needs and strengths, and how their needs will be met, what services, including the amount of time the school will provide to meet these needs, how and when progress on their needs will be reported, what accommodations they need in school and work environments, what district or state testing they will be taking and the accommodations that will be provided, and if it's a year prior to them reaching age of majority, their transfer of rights, which they probably understand the term of legal age. 
the last thing you want to talk to your students about is preparing for their transition IEP. First, make sure they understand transition and special education vocabulary. Give them or have them get a copy of their previous IEP. Tell them to read and make sure they understand the different transition parts of the IEP. Post-secondary goals, annual goals, transition services, accommodations, they will be provided in the classroom and for testing. Then tell them to research some jobs or careers they are interested in for employment. And then think about if these jobs or careers require post high school training. Ask your students to think about where they might want to live after high school and depending on their job or career options that they researched, they may be living at home or in a dorm, just depends. Tell them to talk to their special education teacher about what they learned from their research and discuss possible post-secondary goals. Have them talk to their parents about their post-secondary goals based on their research and talking with their teacher. And then have them think about or write their strengths, needs, interests, and most importantly, their post-secondary goals. This will help with selecting classes, courses of study, and will help them participate or lead the IEP discussion or meeting. Again, teaching your students about their IEP and IEP meeting is a prerequisite to them leading their transition IEP meeting. For more information on student-led IEP meetings, please refer to Transition Tuesday, Episode 77. For today's bonus, I'll be sending you resources and information to help teach students about their IEP. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you use this information to help your students learn about their transition IEP. Be sure to check your email for the bonus we just sent over. If this is the first time you've ever seen an episode of Transition Tuesday, click the link below to receive the bonus. Be sure to like and share the video and leave a comment or suggestion for a future episode of Transition Tuesday. Have a great week. See you next Tuesday.